We have a quest in here to kill everyone in the zone. Uh, that way we get a little book that allows gives us two uh, passive respect points. There is an item, there is an orb in the game that... Ooh, a blue driftwood mall. Hello. There is an orb in the game that, when uh, used, will give you a respect point. Molten Tempest, huh? Okay. Quick, is this better? Oh yeah, that's better. Ah, uh, flame golem, which probably got summoned from uh, that fire circle. Um, I want to respec. I'm oh, sorry, respec. I re equip the new thing and put the gem in the other one, but I don't want to. There's too many mobs around. I don't mind holding off for just a moment. Go. Aha! Okay. Yeah, I have a moment. Uh, let's take you. In here. Go up there. I know I'm being shot at. He's just, he's gone now. Yeah, it's not, it wasn't a huge upgrade, but hey, it's an upgrade. Am I gonna complain about upgrades in the Manor House Mall? Of course not. Okay. Um. Alright, this one's way better. Thank you. Uh, and. Yeah, region. Oh, jeez. So now you see my life is being regent. Uh, a little bit of time. Really gonna help me out. I wanna do move only on middle click. Don't hurt me. I'm not the enemy. I guess for you I might be an enemy. You're kind of unbiased for everybody. Oh, uh, here's the necromancer of the. Yeah, I killed him quick before he freaking resurrects the entire area. So everything here is undead. So he can resurrect undead. You think a necromancer could uh, resurrect the just the regularly dead, not keep resurrecting the undead? No. That's not how it is. Uh, also, the blue uh, shield is energy shield. Uh, there are builds that uh, you can have that uh, completely cr uh, turn your life into uh, to one and have like full energy shield builds. Um, the benefit of energy shield, there's a thing called chaos damage later on in the acts, and if uh, you're being attacked by chaos damage, it completely goes through energy shield. That goes right into direct life. So you can't build like full energy shield and uh, no life. Oh, I'm supposed to summon a totem. Interesting. Uh, because then you'll just die really easily. Rare zombie. Drop me something good. Uh, that wasn't very good. Okay. So this guy, this rare mob, gives everyone around energy shield. That guy just trying to go after me? No. Okay, seems like he's just attacking everybody. Okay. Just want to make sure. Master resist fire. Okay. Uh, drop you. Drop you. I'll pick up these two blues. Uh, different things sell for different items. Different shards, I mean. Yeah, we still have some, some mobs available. I think I know where they are. Probably in this area that I didn't explore yet. 
Yep. Yeah, here's a bunch of mobs. Four remain, and we have four here. Perfect. That, nothing here. Okay, let's just go, let's just run back to the other area. I will pop up Mana Potion. Yeah, those games can be free to play. Um, you just download it. You know, it's on Steam. It's you can download just a regular client if you don't want to go through Steam. So I do suggest checking out it's the one well, of my three games of all time, uh, three favorite games of all time. Um, very complex game. If you like complex games, um. You will really enjoy this game. Well, presuming you also like the genre, I guess. Nothing good, huh? I can pick those up to get some more uh, scrolls of wisdom to uh, identify items with, but it seems like I'm okay. I think I have enough. Okay, so you can get three of you. There's the other ones. There. Here's one. One more in the area. Anything good? Stone Axe, 10 to 17. Uh, mines, 11 to 17. Okay, because of the little bonus. Usually the Stone Axe is slightly better. I mean, a white, white item to white item. But because mine's blue, it ended up being a little bit better. Well. Right through here. I do get another 1.8% life regenerate per second there. Which is going to be really nice and helpful. Uh, in the early game, not having to pop potions like every second, just, it's it's so nice. Um, but, again, because... Um, because you can respec your entire tree, it's not really a big deal. Last one is over here. Okay. Transmutation. I cannot carry and this Oh my god, the last glyph I didn't have room for. Okay, uh, let's drop something. Up you. We have enough to pick. We can actually pick up what we need for the actual quest. Now, a lot of games might avoid like things like, why are there gems uh, that you can pick up that give you abilities? Like, why is that a thing? Actually, in the new act that they added, Act 4, they actually uh, go into exactly where they come from and why they are there. So I thought that was really cool. So instead of having just a regular game mechanic, it was actually part of the story of the place. Like, they're not just things that are, like, mechanics-wise. They're part of the story and there's a reason for them. I really appreciate stuff like that. Uh, here we go. I appreciate them moving the waypoint at the very beginning of this area so you don't have to fight it. Find it anymore. Okay. Do we get uh, Vigilant Strike, Reckoning, Molten Shell, or Decoy Totem? I don't really. Er Reckoning is great for shields. Vigilant Strike, I'm not thrilled with. Molten shell I might use. The necromancer. Okay, and I'll take I that. I forgot that we get also a new ability here. Sell all of this crap. Yep. Um 
deposit that. Can you use you. Uh, let's go fragments. Uh, I could use you instead. Uh, life ring is kind of better. Um, I will put you in my reroll thing. That way, um, it'll be easy to grab it. Uh, this is a good uh, hammer that I got. Actually, uh, gave it quality and rolled it. I actually got a good result, so I'm keeping it around when I hit that level again. And I had like a level 25. Greetings. Something like that, probably. Um, last time. Again, there's a like a giant room of leaping ep uh, enemies. I'm like, oh, I'm tanky. I'm just gonna run in the middle and just attack. No, that didn't work out at all. I died very, very quickly. <laughs> and yeah, I could have uh, just you know continued to play on soft core, but I don't know. Like for me, because my internet connection is fine. I don't, uh, so this is multi chill by the way, um, once I take enough physical damage, it explodes and does fire damage, pretty nice, um, um, so, I don't know, I'm not a fan of softcore, um, cause yeah, my interconnection is fine, so, Generally, I'm not going to die because of that, and I believe they also improved their, uh, like, rubber banding, because there was a little bit of an issue with that for a little while. But actually, I haven't had any uh, problems with it at all so far. Um, I've played for probably, like, four or five hours overall uh, since this expansion came out. And, yeah, I've had absolutely no issues with it. So, you know, like, going full damage, not getting any life is basically what I would do in softcore, and I just don't find that super fun. The challenge is really nice. But again, that's just me. I'd rather die ten times and learn a boss fight and be able to do it well each time in one, in one go. Then die consistent constantly. But I think if I end up dying to a new enemy or a mechanic I didn't know, I'm gonna continue playing on softcore just to beat that boss or enemy. And then I will um, go and reroll the hardcore once I know and understand the mechanics of that boss or whatever I'm playing. That or I'll look it up, but if I'm streaming at the time, then I might as well actually attempt it. I don't know, maybe if I really like where the character is and it's really far along, I'll just continue playing softcore. Um, and they treat it like it's hardcore. Let's see. Almost leveled up too. This should do it. Uh, iron hat that's blue. Lightning resist. That's actually pretty good. Leave right on the mine. And I will definitely take you. Thank you. I, uh, that circle, um, Converts uh, damage to cold and gives me the ability to freeze enemies on hit. That's why people enemies keep shattering. It was a great effect to get in one of those areas where you have a lot of necromancers. Because they can't uh, res enemies that are uh, shattered. So. Oh yeah. Okay. Let me use this to my advantage. Okay, so this is one area. Uh, I'm trying to find actually the other one. 
And that's where I need to go to progress. But there's another area here that is like a secondary thing. Uh, if I do it, I actually gain another uh, skill point. It's very useful. I believe there's... Uh, in terms of skill point, you get two per zone, uh, two per um, act. So in Act 1 you get two, Act 3 you get two. I think you get three in Act 3. Uh, and I have absolutely no clue how many you get in Act 4. So there's three difficulty levels. So even if you got zero um, in Act 4... Uh, that's three, uh, still, uh, three, five, seven, twenty-one points. That you basically get, uh, for just doing quests. So. That means if you end up somehow manage to get to max level, which is level 100. Uh, too much good luck with that. <laughs> this is not a game like Diablo 3 where it's that easy to do that. Um. Then uh, you get 121 points to spend on the skill tree. It's pretty ridiculous. It really allows for really cool and creative builds because there's so many points available. Oh, medium mana flask. Thank you. First medium, and it's mana flask. Let's pop this one more time, and then we'll just swap them out. Uh, these guys, if they hit me, uh, cause me to go, like, dark. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, and there's stuff like this in the world. Where if I pick it up? Now I get to do a... ...little effect on me. Great. Molten shell. Just use that more often. Ah, uh, did it change? Uh, final shield providing additional armor for short duration. Oh. I don't think it was ever a short duration. I thought, uh, I think it used to be just, like, it was there. That's kind of a nerf to this thing. Guess let's, uh... Hope it explodes now if we're taking a physical damage. Nope. Hmm. So that, that ability got reworked. Uh, is that good or bad? Oh, it depends on... It's just different now. So, depending on your build, it'll depend on uh, whether it had any effect at all. So that takes care of him. Um, I'll just teleport back portal back. Uh, oh yeah, uh, one other thing I wanted to do. Go. That's the default portal effect. Now I'll start having uh, the cool one I bought. Uh, this. Uh, nothing good. Sell everything. Yeah, and I only sell... Um, stop selling the crap. I only sell the white items at the beginning, just so I have enough scrolls of wisdom to kind of get started with. Uh, let's grab the extra armor and life. Although I could just keep going this way. Uh, I'm going to hold off actually on you and just go this way 5%. Hmm. It doesn't really matter, like the uh, the slow lower percentage and the armor right now. Go to the next zone. Um, would have been faster to run back. Who knows? Either way, we're doing this now. So yeah, we need to go straight and up across. I see you there. Where you guys come from? 
And not kill everybody in the area? Well, we're dead now. Oh, and apparently I killed everyone in the zone. That makes it easy. So there's a little achievements you uh, you do, and I think if you do all of them, you get a, like, a reward and an item. Uh, if you're like the number one in the league when it ends, or, like top something, you get rewards. So there's a lot of races also to be done. So if you like to race against people and you're good at that, you want to give it a try. Uh, there's like a few hour long races. Six and seven. Okay. Lots of stuff to do. Ah, these guys. I hate these guys. Like, you really have to kill them fast because they just uh, eat uh, the corpses of enemies you kill. Ooh. Uh, and they just spit it at you. And those, like, first two hits don't do a lot. Third hit, just quite a bit. You have here six life, 49 armor. Uh, fire and lightning resist. This has lightning resist, don't have the fire. It's max life. Yeah, I'll take it cause, just because of the more armor, but. Honestly, it's not fantastic. It's good. Just not fantastic. But yeah, for this level, I mean, what can you expect? More life. He's 296 life already. Not terrible, not terrible. Yeah. This zone is actually, um, at the higher difficulties, is uh, great for uh, sort of like grinding out levels if you're kind of behind or just want to get a little bit ahead. Uh, because it is a straight ledge, uh, hence the name of the zone. Uh, and so because you can reset a zone, um, makes it easy to uh, farm this place. You basically go run uh, in either direction over and over again and you just farm it up. Good, okay. Got a waypoint around here somewhere. Coming up. I want to try to get, kill these bastards first. Okay. I killed everyone at roughly the same time, but that's okay. Oh. can see you there. Just so skinny and all bones that hard to find you. Uh, yeah, you're definitely not better. Not in close. Um, don't need the whites anymore. Not really collecting them anymore. Uh, those stones are like lore. You click on them, it tells you a little background, what's going on. Not gonna lie, I don't use it very often. I'm not a lore guy, so. You were a welcome sight. You. I didn't mean to do that. Um. Uh, Demand, not residential. What am I talking about? And so now they're being all satisfied, right? Let me take a look. Uh, they actually need a little bit more parts, and 
and Axie. Because oh, it's full enough for. Uh... Mm, let's go with chance cause bleeding. Okay, level editor. Definitely we want for this now. AI, we want all the way up. Uh, dialogue, so we can 